So today I am going to be reviewing I guess you could call it. I kind of wanted this video to be like a first impressions but you know <laughs> I couldn't wait to open them <laughs> and to try them so we're going to be reviewing these three products. The first one is the Makeup by Mario lip palette. This is a Master Matte Pro lip palette. So as you can see I've already used it but it's got quite a few shades in there. It's even got this little kind of like pan to mix the colors and I do want you guys to see how flattering these shades still are on like someone with a deeper skin tone. We're also going to be reviewing today the Adeline Morin X Tarte palette. I know this came out like over a year ago. I know I'm sorry I'm kind of late to the game but I finally got my hands on the palette and I have got to say it's even more stunning in person like it looked amazing in all the videos and the pictures and everything online but like in person guys this palette is stunning so the last thing that we're going to be reviewing today is the velour lash in go so it's pretty much like an eyeliner um, eye lash adhesive I think this is like a major game changer I don't know which other brands like have done this before or if they're doing it now but so the first thing we're going to be talking about is the Alan Warren X Tarte palette like I said the shades in here are so beautiful and they are actually really really flattering on I'd say a wide range of skin tones so I was really really excited and curious to see how this would perform in my complexion guys this palette is bomb I don't know how many black people purchase this palette but y'all are missing out you got to get on this I'm not not gonna do like swatch like every single color but I am gonna swatch the colors that at least to me I really really love and stand out the most to me when I saw this shade it's called law of attraction when I saw this shade in the palette at first I was like stunned I was like holy but a lot of times when colors are in like palettes especially if you have like a dark skin tone like myself you know that like when you swatch it or when you put it on your eye it's not exactly gonna look the same as it does in the palette usually it looks later like take a look at this shade in the palette okay and I've swatched it on my finger first of all can we just talk about that color payoff sorry this is like the ugliest swatch I've ever done also look at that shade hello another shade that really stood out to me was this one right here and this one's called beautiful magical wonderful this is what it looks like that is so beautiful Let's get into the eye look. So I've already kind of primed my eyes. I'm going to dip into contour first. And I'm just going to use this kind of like as a transition shade. And just something that I'm going to blend out all over like my crease. And just in this area right here. So as you can see, I'm just blending out the shade in that shape that I want my eyes to kind of pull up. So I want to do everything kind of a little bit higher and on this angle that will eventually end up pulling my eyes up and my face up. Kind of give me like that winged look. Now I'm going to dip into Beep Bop. Can I just say I love the way she named these shades. Like they're so cute and they're like totally her, like so on brand for Yeah, Beep Bop, the cutest shade name ever. I'm going to dip into that. I'm going to start um, just right here where I kind of want that shade to be the deepest as it like gradually blends out. And I'm putting that in my crease. And I'm just focusing this on like my outer corner and I'm continuing to blend that in that shape that I was talking about. But just a little bit below the placement of that last shade. And I'm just gonna add, keep adding some more because I really want to deepen up this outer corner. It's given me some more dimension on my lids and kind of helped to mask like that hoodedness. Um, placing the color just a little bit higher. We'll go back and blend it out a little bit more, but I'm just gonna move on to my other eye because we're gonna switch brushes in a second. And I'm just gonna lightly go over just the edges of that last shade that I just put down and just make sure it's nice and blended in. So we've got like a nice kind of gradient going from that deep shade to that lighter shade that I put down. The next thing I'm gonna do is kind of grab a fluffier flat top brush like this. And I'm gonna actually dip right into a Law of Attraction with this. I might end up using my finger, but let's see how it performs with the brush first. Like, that's actually, that's really good. That's with a brush, a dry brush. Like, a completely dry brush 
right out of the pan. That is insane that that I've got that much color payoff, but I want even more. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in right with my finger and do the same thing. Just put this on my lid. If you do have hooded lids, this is just kind of like um, something that I found helps have my eyeshadow looks looking a little bit more on the next level, I guess you could say. Not to gas myself up or anything, but I like to take my lid just a little bit higher, especially since my lids are hooded. I don't know if you can see when I do that. Um, it kind of covers that last spot that I placed the shadow. So I want to take it just a little bit over that, and this is going to help me mask that hood. So we're going to go right just a little bit higher and draw that shape. We're gonna go pretty light, hold the brush pretty lightly so that we still kind of have like a nice blend just to feather out that color just a little bit more. Um, my camera stopped recording, so I lost quite a bit of what I had said, but um, I did the same thing to my other eye. And then I use the same brush to pick up Beautiful, Magical, Wonderful. And I put that shade in between um, this dark brown color and the yellow color just to help kind of transition those colors together and really blend them out. And now I'm using that same brush that I was using before with Beat Bop. I took a little bit of Beat Bop and I'm just using that to kind of really blend out um, that outer corner and you know in between those two colors as well. This shade, Adeline and Tarte really did that. This shade is so beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and deepen that up just a little bit more. Now I'm going to grab that big fluffy brush that I used initially, like at first, and I'm gonna dip into contour just a little bit and I'm gonna ever so lightly go back over like where I placed that transition shade initially because I feel like we lost it just a little bit and we don't wanna lose the shade that it's giving us, which is very nice, warm, I wanna say like orangey kind of warm tone. It's also helping to make sure that that dark brown is blended out. So I'm gonna do the same thing um, to my bottom lash line with those two colors. So I'm gonna grab contour first and I'm using like a little bit of like a denser blending brush, I guess you could call this. I don't really know the name, but this is like the perfect size and shape to blend out under my eyes. I'm dipping into contour. I'm just gonna use this to blend out under my, on my bottom lash line. And I'm going right across and making sure to connect that to the end here. This little tail here that I built. It's like literally impossible to blend in your bottom lash line without holding your mouth open. So I'm gonna get an even smaller brush. It's a very similar shape to the last brush that I was using. Oh shoot. I swear in like every video that I film, I like drop something. Like I was saying, I'm going to pick up Beat Bop and I'm gonna use this really small brush. Um, it's kind of a similar shape to this brush here, but just a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna blend this a little bit closer to my bottom lash line. And I'm keeping this shade um, closer to my outer corner. So I'm not taking it all the way in. I'm gonna stop kind of like right here, like halfway to my eye. And I'm making sure to connect it to that, you know, the shade and what I've got going on my outer corner up here. And I'm gonna take that last brush that I use again, and I'm just going to make sure that they're blended, the two colors that I just put on my bottom lash line are blended. Now, we're gonna pop a color in our inner corner. I've done this look a couple times, and I've just been really stuck on what shade that I like in the inner corner with this look. So, I think I might just come back to it. So now we're gonna move on to the Velour Lash and Go. So, it's basically kind of like an eyeliner lash adhesive for like fake lashes, strip lashes. As you can see, it doesn't look like it's black, but this is actually a really, really nice deep shade of black. The only thing about this that I would say that I'm not the biggest fan, I personally, I prefer brush tips. I prefer brush tip eyeliners. They're a little bit easier to maneuver, to control. This one, it's not too bad. I just, I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan. It's not flexible enough for me. It still like cuts down my time. For this video, and just because I know my preference with this, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my wings first, and then I'm gonna go ahead with with the liner when I'm ready to stick on my lashes. The lashes that I'm using today are the Sassy But Classy Velour Lashes. This product, it works with like literally any lashes, but I just really like Velour Lashes, so I'm gonna be using their lashes today. So I'm just gonna draw my wings. So I've got my wings on. Now I'm gonna draw the rest of my liner using the Velour Lash and Go. 
So you don't really need to wait for this liner to get tacky, but I like to let it dry down just a little bit so that like once I place the lashes on, they don't really move around. And you just kind of bop it like right on. Like it's just insane how easy this product makes applying strip lashes. Like guys, that was so easy. The great thing about this is that if you mess up, you don't need to like take it off and then wait for a glue to die again or like, you know, all that. If you mess up, you can just pick the lash up and then replace it and put it in a better spot. Um, so I'm gonna do this side. And so my liner's done. Um, like I said, you don't really need to wait. And I'm grabbing my lash and I'm just going to pop it right in the spot that I want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Lashes are on, no fuss. So, Velour Lash and Go, this, A+. Plus. A+. Plus. I'd give it like a 90, a 98% if this was like a test. This is like pretty much perfection in the bottle. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to finish the rest of my face before we get into the Makeup by Mario palette. All I really need left is some blush. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills blush kit. This is the blush gradient blush kit. Um, I don't know if they still follow this. I think it's discontinued. So I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. It's like a nice peachy kind of pinky shade. Tap off that excess and I'm just going to apply a little bit of blush to my cheeks. I'm doing just a little bit higher on my cheekbone um, just to really, you know, help pull my face up. Now I'm going to put highlighter on and I think I'm just going to use my highlighter for my inner corner as well. And we might try to put that promise ring shade from the Adeline Morin palette on top of the highlighter and on top of the inner corner. But we'll see how it looks. <laughs> and we're going to try to very, very carefully. But I'm taking my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighter. This is in the shade Topaz. I really want the eyes to kind of be the statement, like, focus. So I'm not going to go too heavy on the highlighter because our eyes, our lids are already so bold. And I'm going to put this on my Cupid's bow. And I'm putting a little bit right here on the bridge of my nose. I'm not taking it all the way down, just in that spot right there to really pull that area out and like forward. And then I'm taking a little bit of it and just gonna put it on my brow bone. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend out that bit that I put on my brow bone and my nose. Now I'm gonna take the highlighter and I'm gonna put it on my inner corner. And I'm gonna take it onto kind of like that bottom right in the inner corner of my bottom lash line right there as well this will just really open up those eyes here is the moment of truth for promise ring so i'm gonna first start by taking a little bit of it and put it in my inner corner right on top of that color the highlighter that i just put there just to brighten up just a little bit more and it made like the slightest little difference but it did brighten up i think i'm gonna take just a tiny little bit of it as well and i'm gonna put it on top of that highlighter in the center of my cupid's bow and just a little bit right in the center of the eyeshadow and i'm gonna take ever so lightly with my fan brush just a little bit really dust off that excess and i'm just gonna put it just right on top of my highlighter right in the highest point just to make it a little bit more of a glow it's very very little on top of it but it still does the highlighting. And if you're any darker than me, I would suggest treading a lot lighter. And just tiny a little bit on my chin. Okay, so as you can see, um, I've got that highlighter going on my cheekbones. I've already kind of lined my lips, so we're gonna move on to the Makeup by Mario palette. Um, I lined my lips with this dark brown shade. It's called Limitless Brown. So I'm just gonna reline my lips a little bit again. So I've got my lips relined, so now I'm gonna go into the Makeup by Mario palette. First things first, guys. It's magnetic. I don't have to worry about when I travel and this like opening up and all the lipstick on the inside getting all over everything and completely destroyed. This palette costs enough money, so for something tragic like that to ever happen, 
would just be devastating. So I'm very, very happy about that. I'm very confident and very comfortable traveling with this palette. We've got all the shades here. These are some really, really nice shades, actually. I would think for any skin tone, even the ones up here at the top, they look a little light, but they still look wonderful on our lips. And all you just really need is like a lip liner, I'd say. The four colors here, like I said before, to like darken, lighten, cool down, and warm up. The back of the brush that it comes with, I really, really like how flexible it is. It makes it application of the lipstick so easy, and you'll see when I put them on. But the back side has like a little angle, so you can scoop out the colors. I don't know if this is why it was made, but this is why how I've been using it. It's so convenient. You can scoop out the colors you need, put them on the tray to mix them, and then just flip it back around and mix it. And then you just gotta make sure you like wipe it off so that this area doesn't get all destroyed. And that's like so impressive. It's even got a mirror. Now I haven't quite decided what lip I want to do, so I think I'm just gonna keep it a little safe. But I do want to show you guys how nice these colors are and how effective this palette is. I honestly think like if you've got this palette, you probably don't really need to buy any other lip shades. You could literally make any shade you want with this palette. So right off the bat, um, I know I want the color to be just a little bit more on that pink side. So I'm going to grab this pink shade right here. I think it's LP10, this pink shade right here. I'm just going to grab very, very, very tiny little bit of that shade. This is a tiny little bit of that shade right there. And just to avoid kind of mixing them together, I'm just going to wipe it off really quickly. I'm going to grab this light brown, very beigey shade right here. And we'll put that there right beside that pink. Um, and now we're going to go a little bit deeper because I really want to deepen up this nude shade, right? I don't want it to look too crazy on me. So I'm going to grab this color right here this dark brown shade right on the end right here. Just a little bit more of that dark brown. I'm gonna put it right on top of those two colors. So I'm just gonna grab my brush and I'm just going to mix these shades together. Okay, so as you can see, that's the color that we're, go we're working with right now. It's a little bit on the pink side for what I want. So I'm gonna grab just a little bit more of that brown shade, that dark brown, and maybe like a tiny little bit of the black on this palette just to deepen up that color just a bit more. So I've kind of created this like nudie, berry-ish kind of tone, I guess you could say, but I guess we'll see how this looks on our lips. We'll always, we can always go back and add other colors. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. So I put it on just on the little corner right there, just to kind of see if I like it. I don't know, to me, it's looking just a little bit cool. So I'm gonna grab a tiny little bit of that yellow and mix that in there. So very tiny little bit. I don't know, yeah, very, very tiny. So yeah, there we go, that's what I want. So, yes. And I mix that together myself. I didn't have to go out and buy a whole separate lipstick just to get that shade. I'm feathering it into my um, the liner that I had going. And as you can see, like, this brush is so flexible. I'm having no problem, you know, having smooth lines up to the edge of my lips. Sorry, my camera stopped filming again. But I was saying, it's more of like, I don't know, it's a very nice texture and consistency where it doesn't feel too dry. And it doesn't feel drying on your lips. It actually feels nice and hydrating on your lips. And it doesn't look too dry either. So it's still got, like, that matte look to it but it's not like I don't know you can't see every single line on your lip it's not very crackly it doesn't feel crumbly it's very very comfortable I was actually just saying that I wanted to lighten up the center of my lips just a little bit I dipped uh, just a very tiny little bit into the second last shade up here on this top row right there and I'm just gonna take very little bit of that and put that right in the center of my lips I realized I forgot to put mascara on pretty much to blend in my lashes and everything and do my bottom lashes. So I'm grabbing this mascara here. I've actually really just very recently fallen in love with this mascara. This is the Essence Volume Hero Mascara and just since this is just in black. And I'm just going to use this to just kind of darken my natural lashes and make sure that they're nice and blended in with my fake ones. And then I'm going to do my bottom lash line. And I just went like right across the bottom. Now I'm gonna grab my clear gloss. It's just a clear gloss. Um, and I'm gonna put this on top, just right in the center, focus it in the center of my lips. Voila, my lips, my look, the whole thing is done. I'm just gonna finish it all off with the setting spray. Ooh. 
So this is the final look using those three products that I was focusing on today. So that was the Adam Warren X Tart Palette, the Makeup by Mario Lip Palette, and the Velour Lash and Go. We started out with the Adam Warren X Tart Palette. Bomb, 10 out of 10, love this so much. I think it is a palette that anyone of any shade, any color, any race can use. Um, you can literally use any color in this palette. Even the highlighter, like I put that on top of like my other highlighter, but like you can still see it and it's still impactful. Like it's still giving me a really nice glow. And that Law of Attraction shade, y'all, I'm telling you now, don't judge me, okay? If I'm doing a tutorial and I'm like, let me bring out my Adeline Warren X Tarte palette because I'm using that yellow, like, allow me. Because just like, how can you not, right? Moving on, the next product, um, the Velour Lash and Go love it um it completely shortens like my routine so much when i'm putting my lashes on it makes application so 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 much easier i would just say like the actual like brush felt tip like applicator it either needs to be a little bit more on the flexible side or a brush tip that I prefer um, but in terms of like the wear time like I've been I've worn this a few times and like literally all day all day it stays all day even when my lids get a little bit or like my eyes get a little bit more watery it doesn't go anywhere it stays there um, and it doesn't transfer to like my bottom lid lash line you know this stuff a plus as well now the makeup by Mario palette like we just finished with this palette Pretty much a 10 out of 10. You don't need to go out and buy all of those lipsticks that you usually would, which is what I really love about this palette. I don't know the next time I'm gonna have to buy a lipstick. I really don't. And it feels great on the lips. It looks great on the lips. That is also a 10 out of 10. So that is it for this video. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I hope you enjoyed it. And I wanna know, like, let me know in the comments. Do you think, you know, after seeing me try all these products, do you think you're gonna go out and get them? Let a girl know. Like, do you think this is gonna change the makeup game? Comment, comment, I want to know. Don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I would really appreciate the support and subscribe as well so you can see more videos that I upload. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!